All right, we got something really interesting today. So we've got a Sun Power Sun Vault, and then we've got three of the battery modules that go inside of it. So what is this thing? It's basically a power wall that was made by uh, Sun Power. And inside of it, it has an inverter and then three of these battery modules go in. And each one of these battery modules is 6.5 kilowatt hour, 48 volt. This is lithium iron phosphate. And then we can open up the cabinet here. And you ready for this? Check what's on the inside, guys. Look at this. It's a Schneider inverter. So this is the XW Pro. What is it, 6848? And check that out. And it even comes with the Schneider Insight facility. And then it has, this is a sun power piece right here. So this communicates with the batteries. And this was supposed to communicate with the rest of the sun power system. But from what I understand is we can reset this gateway back to the Schneider defaults and then we can get into it and then we can reset the inverter back to the defaults and just use it. And then this, this cabinet is actually NEMA rated so it can be used outside. And then if we look here, we can see how the batteries connect. So it's already wired for three battery modules and they just snap and the cables just snap on with these little pre-terminated connectors here. And then looking at the bottom of the inverter, the wires just come up and terminate on the terminals of the inverter. I guess there's a slight little bus bar they've created here and then the wires terminate to that. Really neat. All right, guys. So I've got this thing up off the ground now. It's very heavy, so I had to have some help. I had to wait until I had some help available. Uh, I also have one of the batteries uh, removed from one of the boxes. And before I get too far ahead of myself, I guess I better tell you guys where these are from. So these are Sun Power Systems, and they are from the Sun Power bankruptcy. Yeah, Sun Power. Uh, filed for bankruptcy. Unfortunately, sadly, they had to do that. But now we have access to this inventory. And the place to get these is Bean Energy. I'll leave links down in the description. But he has a lot of this stuff. So he has these cabinets. He has, I think he has inverters by themselves. Uh, he's got the batteries. So he's got a lot of this sun power stuff. Uh, most of it, I think, is in brand new in boxes. So what I think I'm going to do now is I am going to go ahead and put in at least two batteries. I've got three. So one can fit back there, one right in front of it, and then another one stacks on top. But I'm going to get two of them in just to get this thing fired up. And then once I do that, I'm going to try to get into this gateway, which is probably going to be me having to reset it, do a factory uh, reset, which I think you hold this power button down for uh, for a while until it starts. I think it beeps four times or something like that, but we'll get to that point. All right, so I got this guy working. There was a couple of hurdles <laughs> and uh, it had to get figured out, but it got figured out. Really the, the hurdle was these batteries they wouldn't sync up so this first one would work but this one would just flash basically what it what it needed was some CAN bus messages sent to it to tell it the configuration to basically tell it to act as a bank of batteries and so then that made these batteries sync up but then there was one more part of the CAN bus data uh, that needed to be sent to tell it that these uh, batteries are active or commissioned. 
because what would happen is even though these synced up, they would turn off after 12 hours. <laughs> but so the message to tell it to activate or commission has been figured out too. So they work and then these have just been sitting here working for days now and everything's really good. This thing, I actually went through the uh, procedure in the manual to reset it, and I had to do it a couple times because it wouldn't reset back to factory defaults the first couple times I did it. And uh, you can read the manual, but it says to hold this down uh, for a certain length of time, and it goes through a certain number of beeps, and then it's going to factory reset. Well, what I figured out is that when it actually really does factory reset, it it will reboot. So if you go through this reset procedure and it doesn't reboot, that means you didn't actually do it. Uh, so I had to do it multiple times in a row, and then finally when I saw it reboot, then it was actually factory reset at that point, and I was able to get into it. Uh, so as you can see over here, I think we timed out over here. Here we go. So we can see that this is the inverter showing up and then this is the battery bank showing up. So it shows up as, uh, there's two batteries, but it, it, it really shows up as a single battery. So it, it aggregates the data between the batteries together as a single battery. Uh, so you can see here maximum discharge current is 180 amps. Well, if it was only one battery, the maximum would be 90 amps. But as soon as you add a second battery, it's 180. And then if you add a third battery, then it's 180 plus 90. So 270. <laughs> but yeah, so the battery works great. Let's go back to the inverter. It's in standby mode right now, so I'm going to go ahead and set it to operate. There we go. Operation mode, operating, apply. And so we should now be able to pull some power out of it. Yeah, so right now it's showing that there's a zero kilowatts coming out. And I've got this this little breaker box just temporarily wired in right now so we can test it. So let's plug a load into it. All right, so we'll plug in the heater. There we go. And then we can see, there we go, we're pulling one kilowatt. <laughs> let's plug in the heat gun as well. And then we should see, there we go. Now we're doing 1.63, 1.61 kilowatts. Uh, so yeah, it works. And you can see here on the dashboard, you see that the battery is pumping power to the inverter. So you can see there's 1.1 kilowatts coming out of the battery and to the inverter. Now, so the other thing that I'm thinking of, if you want to use this with solar, one of the ways that you can do it is add in a charge controller, right? And so I've got this piece of aluminum. So what I'm thinking about doing is putting this in here. Like bolting that in there somehow so I can then bolt on a charge controller uh, probably a breaker for the charge controller and I haven't figured exactly which one I want to put in there yet you know maybe this Victron but I feel like I want something bigger you know there should be some room back here because the third battery it stacks on top of this one so there should be some space in between the third battery and the back of this uh, closet. All right, and here's something that's really cool too about this inverter. Now this is a 6,000 watt pure sine wave split phase 
low frequency inverter and it's idling right now so I don't have any loads on it but it's idle current is according to the battery is 0.7 amps so if we do the math so we're at 53 volts times 0.7 so the idle power draw of this thing is 37.1 watts <laughs> that's pretty impressive considering it's you know a big low frequency inverter <laughs> that's really good i mean that's like why is everything else pull so much power uh, when it comes to the idle interesting so another thing i want to see let's let's take this third battery and i want to pull this cover off So metal, kind of like a molded aluminum faceplate there. And here's the BMS. Now look at there, it's got a fuse built in. And it says a, it's a 200 amp fuse, 150 volts uh, DC. It's got a big resistor here. Maybe that's like some kind of current limiter or something. And the whole board, yeah, it's covered with a conformal coating. Yeah, it looks very, very quality. And the good news too is if you, if you want to get, say, just the batteries, you don't have to get the whole cabinet. You can actually just use the batteries on your, on your own system. He's got a way to make the batteries work without the sun power sun vault system. So let's take a look at his site. So if we look here, you can see he's got a lot of the sun power stuff. I think he, okay, yeah, he's got like the older version of the cabinet. So this one, this one right here will take two batteries. And these are the the earlier versions of the battery. So these are a little bit of different battery. It's the same inverter, but this cabinet will only take two batteries and it uses a different kind of battery. And so he's got this thing listed uh, with the inverter and the batteries and the cabinet for 3,150. Uh, so that gets you 13 kilowatt hours of battery. And then the, the system I've got, let's see, yeah, is this one. Uh, so this is the newer version of the cabinet. So you can see there's the inverter and then that's the three batteries in there. So he's got that listed with three batteries in the inverter and cabinet for $4,200. So that's going to get you 19.5 kilowatt hours. And also, I'll, I'm going to put these links down there, but he's also giving me a discount code. I'll add that into the links. And I think if you buy a complete system, if you use my code, uh, you'll get some money off. And if you look at the battery, so here's one of the batteries right here. So he's, got, he's selling the batteries for $750 a piece. And that's the ones that I've got right there. If you are interested in doing the CAN bus stuff, he's documented it here for you. This actually shows you uh, the keep alive message that you would need to send if you were using it by itself without the sun vault power sun vault. The sun vault actually sends this keep alive to your batteries so you don't have to worry about that. And then this is the configuration and commissioning message. Uh, so that's on there too if you want to do any of the CAN bus stuff yourself. He's got it documented. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up. It's getting kind of long. I'm actually gonna do more stuff to this cabinet. Like I said, I wanna put a charge controller in here and get solar power directly into this uh, unit as a, as a complete kind of standalone system. But uh, I'll do that hopefully here in the near future and get a video of it. But as always, I'll leave links down in the description. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one.